What's going on, Ronan? In this video, I want to talk about some of the concerns I have for Ashes of Creation. It's really just like one concern, and I had this whole script written out for it, and I probably should stick to it because I tried to redo this video a bunch of times, but I'm looking at the script and I'm like, I don't really like this script. So I'm just going to try to wing it, and if you have any of the similar concerns or your own concerns, let me know in the comments below. So this is really just talking about player retention and how I'm kind of concerned with Ashes of Creation's growth beyond those first couple of months because we know that players like to know life and get to that end game as quick as possible but ashes likes to believe that the end game starts at the beginning of the game so when people hit that max cap level they're going to be looking for like raids and higher end dungeons and they're not really either either find them or find the people to do them with because people are going to be moving at a different pace and so what i'm hoping is that ashes of creation will really figure out how to balance that experience and that leveling process to where everybody's kind of moving at a similar pace where people aren't really too far behind each other and but not stun like it to where like if this node or if a node isn't leveled up to a certain extent, you can't go beyond, you know, a certain level. So I don't want you to get stun locked by nodes. I don't want them to do like what New World did and extend the experience out. So you, they make just leveling a lot harder, but have the quest reward, like good experience. And so like with that, I'm thinking like, why does the max level of any RPG have to be 50 or 60? Why can't it just be indefinite or whatever you know what i'm saying like the when you hit that max cap level or maybe it goes up to 70 or 80 or 100 or if it's like 50 when you hit that max cap level you can do something similar to like guild wars where the experience just kind of rolls over into like a, a prize that you can use or something where the experience rolls over into something that you get that you can use some some items or something like that so it's this experience still being worth something in the game and you're not just like wasting that experience as you go along Another issue I'm kind of concerned about here that ties into the player retention is how content will be released. Are you thinking of expansions in terms of wait two or three years and drop a huge expansion? Or are you thinking of expansions in smaller subsets? So we're thinking of expansions in, in two sense of the word. We're thinking of expansions that come on a monthly and quarterly basis. Those are going to be more smaller, easily digestible. They progress the game world in something that is, um, you know, maintainable for players to kind of follow along with, especially if you're playing the game. And then we're thinking of the large expansions that might happen once or twice, maybe a year, you know, every six months, so to speak. Um, those larger expansions are where you're going to see, you know, like level caps perhaps rise. You're going to see new sets of gears and stuff and zones that come online and new bosses that might get introduced. The popularity and the subscriber base of the game is going to determine how expansive those expansions are and how regular they can become. Content is king. So from my understanding, content's going to be like they say either like a month or three months or like so with bigger ones being like half a year or a year and that all depends on how the player so how many players are in the game or playing the game and i don't think that's really a good idea because people want to see like consistent content coming out for the game they don't want to be like well there's not a lot of people playing right now so i guess we won't get any content until next year you know if you have like a consistent schedule a consistent roadmap i think that will really people keep people in the game or at least keep people coming back into the game more regularly and on a consistent basis so that they can you know enjoy that content that you're putting out so this idea where it's up in the air depending on how many players are playing the game or how many players we have in the game or the popularity of the game that's just a bogus idea that should be scrapped have that set in stone where you know what your content schedule is going to be like and then you want to worry about what the popularity of the game is because if you believe your game is good and you're like listening to feedback and putting the game together properly where everybody's enjoying everything then when the content drops people are going to be there to play it and you're not going to worry about popularity and if people do drop out and you're like, yo, we're doing updates every three months or so, then people will be ready to jump into that next patch that drops in that third month, you know, every three months. So they can say, oh, all this stuff's changed. There's a lot of good stuff here. Let's go ahead and do all this stuff. So I hope they actually put more thought into that part with the DLC or expansions or whatever, however they're going to do them. Just instead of basing it on the popularity of the game, base it on how they want the game to grow within a certain time frame. And I think that'll be a lot better. This video, I guess, isn't really long. <laughs> it's just something I wanted to get off my chest and talk about a little bit. I know there's people talking about combat and how the combat movement is. and But I feel like we didn't really get a chance to see or feel or touch combat. We got an idea of what they wanted to be, but the UI was turned off. So we didn't even get like a rough idea of what the full picture of combat would be like 
in the game. And unlike the character creation where we saw the UI, we saw how everything moved, so we, can, we were like, yeah, okay, that looks pretty cool. We can get more of a feel for that. We didn't get that with the combat, so hopefully in this next video or live stream they have coming out for July, we'll get to see some more of the UI, some updated UI. I hope they update the inventory screen for the game. Um, that's not a concern, but I hope they do. <laughs> Balance isn't really an issue for me right now because I'm just looking at it as eight classes instead of like 64 classes. So you have eight main classes and they can just kind of balance around those eight main classes and those abilities should all balance out because it's the abilities that you put on the classes that, you know, eventually equal out to 64. So once they put those, once they get all that, the skills themselves balanced out. I feel like everything else should balance out properly. But of course, again, we'll have to see when we play the game if it's gonna be a nightmare or not. Hopefully we don't see like a pre-map. So like in like New World, before the game even came out, there was a map of where everything was at like newworldmap.com before the game came out nwmap.com there was a map talking about where all the the items were where all the nodes were in the game where you can i hope they don't do how to hope i hope that there's not something like that that comes out and for ashes of creation before ashes of creation drops let everybody experience that world themselves and find out where things are on their own without this weird like outside map that you can go to and force nose that way i don't think that's a good idea i like the this the surprise that people would get i personally personally would like the surprise of a node popping up and like oh snap there's a there's a town here there wasn't a town here before right and then maybe having maps get charted out that way they're talking about like people are talking about having like a map class or something like that map profession i don't know but i would rather have that experience than have a, a pre-map made already on a website somewhere where everybody can just go to it and you have all the YouTube videos talking about, oh, you want this to pop up and go here and kill this thing here and that will make the dragon appear. <laughs> it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen anyway, but I just hope that it doesn't happen immediately and the servers actually start to build up on their own first before they try to figure out how to force server changes to happen. Um, this is all I have for this video. Quick video. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are in the, the description, in the description, in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Peace.